Everyone said Bane is a badass in this, so we'll see. So far, <clears throat> big fan of DC stuff. Yeah. So far. I mean, they're two for two for us so far. I really like the mature themes in this. Like, I really, really like that. Yeah, I do too. Even though it's PG-13 and stuff. So well, I mean, yeah, I don't mean rated R necessarily. I know what I know, but I'm just saying. I knew Harvey Dent. I was his friend. And it will be a very long time before someone inspires us the way he did. I believed in Harvey Dent. I mean, he's not lying. There was a time. He didn't turn sour to the end, really. Little finger. Oh, you look like Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Dr. Pavel, I'm CIA. He <laughs> wasn't alone. You don't get to bring friends. They were trying to grab your prize. They worked for the mercenary. The mask of the moon. Bane. Get him on board. I'll call it in. An English accent, like an American accent. That was strange. First one to talk gets to stay on my aircraft. That's weird as mess hearing him talk like that. In an American accent? I know, I just said Sorry. that. Well, I, mean, I know, but it's bizarre. <laughs> What the heck? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. No one cared who I <gasps> oh was till I put on the mask. You're a big guy. For you. Uh-oh. He looks like someone we know. Was getting caught part who? of your plan? Of I course. Guess. You might know somebody like that, but I don't know. Is it Venom? Dr. Pavel refused our offer in favor of yours. We got to find out what he told oh. you. Nothing. I said nothing. Who said zip line right there? Now what's the next step of your master plan? Crashing this plane. Dang, they're hijacking the plane. So he's got some loyal people, they said. That's wild. That's terrifying. They took that scene where they kidnapped the uh, dirty accountant in the dark night. Mm -hmm. They just upped it in this. This hijacking was crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> How are y'all doing that in the air and stuff? Have we started the fire? Yeah, the fire rises. But he's got to stay behind. Oh, hell no. Calm he's down, just down to do it. Now is not the time for fear. That's what I'm saying. They said they were loyal, so he's a that cause, I guess. Later. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Nah. Bane needs a freaking Red Bull sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Dent Day may not be our oldest public holiday. Dang, they made a holiday? And now I'm gonna give way to an important person. Perfectly eyes on Wayne. Gordon. Oh, he went from bat to recluse thug. spider, huh? A thug who showed his true nature when he betrayed the trust of this great man and murdered him in cold blood. Let him tell you himself. Commissioner Gordon. The truth. The truth. That's a long speech you got there, Gordon. That'd be really yeah. hard to get up there. Yeah. Telling the truth about Harvey Dent, maybe the time isn't right. That's the second time that's happened in this franchise. Maybe right now, the Rachel letter. All you need to mm -hmm. know is that there are 1,000 inmates in Blackgate Prison as a direct result of the Dent Act. These are violent criminals. You know, I heard he had an accident. Yeah, that he's disfigured. He has to Mr. Wear... Till, why oh, are your man. people using the main staircase? And where's Mrs. Bolton? She got ate my dogs. <laughs> Everyone knows that Wayne's holed up in there with eight inch nails peeing into mason jars. It's very good of you to let me on the ground. Ain't he in his house talking about him like that? Yeah. Isn't that the girl from The Princess Bride? Yeah. He should spend some more time with the mayor. Well, that's your department. Anyone shown him the crime stats? But he's a hero, a war hero. This is peacetime. Well, that's not good. So the politics are changing up in this a lot. Was that Rachel in that picture? Yeah, probably. <gasps> oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so terribly sorry, Mr. Wayne. Why is he doing that, though? I know. That's so dangerous and reckless. The beautiful necklace reminds me of one that belonged to my mother. The manufacturer clearly explained is uncrackable. Ooh, hot. Oops. <laughs> Nobody told me it was uncrackable. I'm afraid I can't let you take those. Look, you wouldn't beat up a woman any more than I would beat up a cripple. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this lady? Uh, what? <clears throat> Good night, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> what? The maid just she hopped like out the, the window? Cat burglars? <laughs> Is that a character? Cat burglar? I don't know. What are you doing? Examining print dust. We've been robbed. <laughs> hey, this is your idea of uh, sounding the alarm. It's she took the pearls, tracking device and all. She? One of the maids. Perhaps you should stop letting them in this side of the house. <laughs> He's very chill about that, though. I wasn't. She was. Oh, that's why. Here you are, like we're still at war. What's your name, son? Maybe that's why there's peace time. This night, eight years ago, the night Dent died. The last confirmed sighting of the Batman. He murders those people, takes down two SWAT teams, breaks Dent's neck, and then just vanishes. I know exactly who he was. He was the Batman. 
Let's go see about the congressman's wife. Eight years is a long time. I thought like that's too long for him Must to keep wait. that secret from him. Must wait. If something happened to him, he's irreplaceable. He's like one of the best characters. Bro, he literally has a bat cave looking like this. Oh, yeah. they connected it to the mansion? I wonder if it's warm down there, because I'm playing that water yeah, all day. I guess that's why I'm not the Batman. I'm trying playing to find out more about our jewel thief and um, Selena Kyle. That means breaking and entering. Every year, I took a holiday. I, I went to Florence. There's this cafe on the banks of the Arno. Every fine evening, I'd sit there and order a Ferny Branca. I had this fantasy that I would look across the tables and I'd see you there. Maybe a couple of kids. Oh, man, he really loves you, Bruce. You wouldn't say anything to me, nor me to you, but we both know that you'd made it. That was beautiful. That ain't him, though. I never wanted you to come back to Gotham. I always knew there was nothing here for you except pain and tragedy. And I wanted something more for you than that. That was deep. I love that. I still do. That's the most he's ever, like, spoke. Yeah. I wash up here a couple of times a month, or more when it gets colder. Homeless sheltering in the tunnels. Uh, we pulled him from the basin, but other than that, we didn't touch him. His name's Jimmy. He's from St. Swithin's. Boy, he's on the coast of Samboa. Do you think Batman didn't leave because of, um, like, he still feels like he needs to protect the city? Or is it because Rachel? What do you mean? Like, why Batman didn't, like, move on, like, to, and have a life? Like, why is he still hanging, like, in the trenches? It's probably like the Gordon? double whammy. Yeah. So he probably has this, he probably feels like if he doesn't sit there and mourn Rachel's death, and if he doesn't sit there and grieve, then he's, in a sense, like, letting it be okay. Yeah. Because that's the only thing he can really do to take any type of control. The situation is mm -hmm. to just self-loathe and grieve over it. You know, because a lot of people do that. And then, you know, obviously Batman, his, his family, I don't think they've really done a good enough job emphasizing and how much his family tried to do like charitable works on behalf right. of the city yeah. so uh you know batman's whole entire identity was based on that moment where his parents Ooh. died so i think it's just an overall he can't leave like he can't move on basically i hope he can i don't know i hope he you know i don't think he has a moral obligation to stay he's already given it been around for months everything you know blake you know why he aged out we don't have the resources to keep boys on after 16. a lot of guys when going down the tunnels when they age out that's sad age out do you think he's coming back oh i don't know reminds me of the spider-man movies right hand no partials that is him, the Jorah legend, Mormont. the legend of Janelli, Carl. I don't know what you're planning to do with Mr. Wayne's prints, but I'm guessing you'll need his thumb. You don't count so good, huh? I count fine. In fact, I'm counting to ten right now. That was cold. <laughs> what does he want his prints for? A lot easier to just give me what we agreed. Maybe to find out who he is. So she's some type of something. So she basically gives you Natasha vibes. Yeah. Maybe she's like DC's version of Romanoff. Oh, <laughs> Guys, we know this isn't like the DC universe. I know this is its own separate thing, but you know. Keep some pressure on that, sweetheart. <laughs> she's <Call> funny. <laughs> So you think that's what it is? They're just trying to get his fingerprints so they can identify him? Uh, maybe. You three, down with me. You two, you go down. Cover the next day. What, they went down there? That's so scary. Man. The whole entire force is down there too. That's they got, crazy. It's like they got trapped. We know it's down there, sir, the police commissioner. Someone get this hot head out of here. <laughs> He's not even that hot headed. He's just chilling. <laughs> he actually was chilling. <laughs> How dare you? I guess that's the work they were talking about in the tunnels. Mm -hmm. They were doing some suspension drilling or something, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Is that Bane? No, he's a little. Search him, then I will kill you. Did he just say, search him, then I will kill you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the truth about Harvey Dent. <laughs> yeah, he's about to go expose that to the world. <gasps> Let's go, Gordon. Oh, he took one. Follow him. Oh. Wow. Put a tracker on him and then shot him instead of follow him. He told him, search him and then I'm going to kill you. And then he did it anyways. That was cold. Hey, Dang, lost his glasses. I'm sorry, Mr. Wayne doesn't take unscheduled calls. And if I go get a warrant for the investigation of Harvey Dent's murder. Oh, that's so old. Go ahead. It should be off. It's like a credit score. But that was a big, uh, that was a big flex though. Bruce Wayne, billionaire orphan. I mean, we used to make up stories about you, man. Legend. Oh, so he's like a legend because he's mm -hmm. an orphan. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't know why you took the fall for Dent's murder. 
but I'm still a believer in the Batman, even if you're not. I would think a fan that stole a cop uniform. Used to be funded by the Wayne Foundation. Because the money stopped. Some of those details might need your help. Ooh, y'all going broke? Why did the Wayne Foundation stop funding boys' homes in the city? The foundation is funded by the profits of Wayne Enterprises. There have to be some. Time to talk to Mr. Fox, I think. I'll get him on the phone. No, 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 no. Do we still have any cars around the place? Yes, one or two. I need an appointment at the hospital for my leg. Which hospital? Whichever one Jim Gordon's in. So he's kind of back to work. So he really has been recluse, too. Quite bad. He didn't even know if he had a car. The residual concussive damage to your brain tissue and the general scarred over quality of your body. I cannot recommend that you go hella skiing. <laughs> <laughs> His daughter won't even clear this man to ski. <laughs> <laughs> or hella ski. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sounds more extreme. I know. The Batman has to come back. What if he doesn't exist anymore? We need you, Batman. He doesn't even have cartilage in his knees. But that's Bruce Wayne. Mr. Oh, Wayne, Mr. Wayne. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if my assistant. Right there, Mr. Wayne. Thank you so much. He had a device that shut off their cameras. Actually, this is my part, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you have to invest if you want to restore balance to the world. Take our clean energy project. Sometimes the investment doesn't pay off. But a man who doesn't care about the world doesn't spend half his fortune on a plan to save it. That he goes into hiding. Called out, bro. So she's suspicious of mm -hmm. you. you. Mind if I cut him? Thank you. <laughs> Brazen costume for a cat burglar. <laughs> Is that her name for real? Cat burglar? That's what I said. Bruce Wayne. Eccentric billionaire. Well, Selena Kyle. <laughs> pearls do look better on you than they did in my city. I was about to say, she <laughs> acts like she ain't covered in pearls right now. Heck. I must have lost my ticket. Your wife said you were taking a cab home. My wife? <laughs> oh no. She's so sneaky. <laughs> Just you, sir. <laughs> Takes a little time to get back in a swing of things. Rusty man. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. So I live and breathe. Yay, Lucius. While we figure out a future for the energy program with Miranda Tate, she has supported the project all the way. She's smart and quite lovely. We all just want what's best for you, Bruce. Everybody sure, wants to hook him up with that girl. Uh, I know. I retired. Well, let me show you some stuff anyway. <laughs> just for old times sake. Show him. I wonder what he's going to have. For years, I've been shuttering and consolidating all the different prototypes under one roof. My roof. Why? Keep them from falling into the wrong hands. <laughs> Let's go, Lucius. You got to. Oh, now you're just showing off. Defense oh, wow. Department projects. Tight geometry, urban pacification. What's it called? I just took the call and get the bat. Mm -hmm. oh! Is it really painful? You're very welcome to try it, Alfred. Mm -hmm. Happy watching. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Not bad at all. It's to help him because he's got like knee problems mm -hmm. and stuff. You should hear the rumors surrounding bank. There is a prison in a more ancient part of the world. A pit where men are thrown to suffer and die. Oh, geez, say what you A man <laughs> rises from the darkness. He was trained by Razel Gore, your mentor. Oh. If this man is everything that you say he is, then the city needs me. The city needs Bruce Wayne. Your resources, you know. Yeah, that's true. There's a little internal battle, huh? Uh -huh. Your life at times pass. You're afraid that if I go back out there, I'll fail. I'm afraid that you want to. Hey, oh. man, he wants him to just go be happy and live his life. That was good. That was a good moment right there. Any moment with Alfred's pretty good. Yeah. Change is either good or bad. How about bad? On <laughs> what basis? I flipped a coin. Was that I a Harvey? Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Says, well, I said no rhyme. Does that remind you of something when they talk about rye bread? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course they're attacking the star right now. Stuck at you. You're evil. This is a stock exchange. There's no money you can steal. Really? And why are you people here? So he grew up in a foster home poor, so he kind of like hates capitalism and rich people. I thought he was born in a jail. And he well, yeah, that's what I meant, in a jail, yeah. 
sorry. But he, well, essentially, he grew up poor in like, that prison, so he hates like the system. You gotta get in there. I guess this I don't know. This is a hostage situation. It's not our money, it's everybody's. Really? Mine's my mattress. If you don't put these guys down, that stuffing <laughs> in your mattress might be worth a whole hell of a lot less. So they're trying to essentially steal from everyone by. They got the five. Lowering the value of the dollar? Sounds working. For now. Bane was in the same thing that Batman right? was, though. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Daddy! Got something. <laughs> Because that's the same thing that happened to the camera. Show tonight, son. Yes. Oh. Sorry. thing away before you hurt yourself. Get in. Let's go. You get the car. He's a fire. The best. Thing was bumpy though, no man. Yeah, but that tire looks like it can drive over anything. He caught off duty too. I'm gonna take down the Batman. Yeah, we'll see about that. What's she stealing? Oh, she's the Catwoman. So what about the armed robbers? That's how they are. That's how we the armed robbers. Stay on the Batman. Wow, he's supposed to be that nice. He's dead away. Who do you want to catch, huh? Some robber or the son of a bitch who killed Harvey Dent? Well, yeah, I remember they they love Harvey. But that's not just some robber, though. That man just shot up the freaking New York Stock Exchange. I know. <laughs> or whatever the heck you want to call it. The Gotham Stock Exchange. He's drawing the cops off bay. Oh my gosh. I didn't think about that. That that's what he's doing. Sonar capabilities. Yeah, it's a super drone. And can we get some girls in here? Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Anyone but that one. <laughs> you know, there's so many dudes up in here, bro. Those outfit, those heels make it tough to walk. I don't know. <laughs> Do they? Man, you should have just pulled the trigger. Man, she's brave as hell. Is she like an anti-hero? Because I feel like Catwoman's supposed to be a good person. Maybe that's not Where Catwoman. The clean slate. Or is it? Were you typing someone's name, date of birth? I thought that was Halle Berry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not bluffing. They know. They just don't care. Ah! They're about to fight together. Look at the villain escaping. Or if he's a villain, I'm really not sure. You're kidding me. No guns, no killing. <laughs> oh no, here he comes. I wouldn't even know what to do if that thing came to attack me or not. He didn't seem intimidated by it at all. He wanted to punch it. <laughs> See you around. You're welcome. <laughs> he don't like this new contraption, does he? Who needs him now? Ra's al Ghul was the League of Shadows and I beat him. Bane is just a mercenary. We need to find out what he's up to. Trades of some kind, coded. And my fingerprint courtesy of Selena Kyle. Get this to Fox. He can crack the code and tell us what trades they were executing. So they hired Selena to get his fingerprints because she's sneaky. But no right. But the thing is, I just don't know what Bane's up to. I don't really know his motive yet. I won't bury you. I've buried enough members of the Wayne family. 
Aww. You leave me? Rachel died knowing that we had decided to be together. That was my life beyond the cave. I can't just move on. She Man, just give him a letter. I know. What if before she died, she wrote a letter saying she chose Harvey Dent over you? Uh oh. How dare you use Rachel to try to stop me? You expect to destroy my world and then think that we're going to shake hands? No. Man, you better. Goodbye, Alfred. Man, there just ain't no way. You being over emotional. I mean, I get it, but geez, man. Ouch. That man ride and dies for you, don't he? He knew that meant everything by telling him, and he still told him. Seems you made a series of large put options on the futures exchange, verified by thumbprint. Those options expired at midnight last night. Long term, we may be able to prove fraud, but for now, you're completely broke. <gasps> that is not good. This is about to fall into the hands of John Daggett. We can't let Daggett get his hands on the plate sciences. Applied sciences is all locked up and off the books. Thank God. The energy God. project, however, is a different story. But Andy Tate. You brought me out here to show me this. Now you gotta put a lot of faith in this girl. Bear with me, right. Please keep hands and feet inside the car at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <Well. laughs> this is it, isn't it? The reactor is beneath the river, so it could be instantly flooded in the event of a security breach. Whoa. I think this machine works. Miranda. If it were operational, danger in Gotham would be too great. Would it make you feel better to know that the Russian scientist died in a plane crash six months ago? Someone Not really. We'll work um. out. Um. What Dr. Pavel did, someone will figure out a way to make this power source into a nuclear weapon. That's what Bane's and doing. You okay. Take control of Wayne Enterprises in this reactor. To do what with it? Nothing. Decommission and flood it. Destroy the world's best chance for sustainable future. The world's not ready. Why are you developing it in Bruce, Gotham? if you want to save the world, you have to stop trusting it. I'm trusting you. So you pretty much needed that for some money. Mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to point out that we have a non-board member here, which is highly irregular. Maybe better. Looks like you need a ride, huh? This guy just pops up. That's his homie right he there. He keeps huh? popping up. <laughs> Leave us. No, you stay here. I'm in charge. Do you feel in charge? <laughs> you are pure evil. Unnecessary evil. <laughs> oh. Good choice. He wants to meet tonight. Why? He needs to find Bane. Says you'd know how. Tell him I'll think about it. Okay. I like your place. <laughs> Mr. Wayne? I'm sorry they took all your money. No, you're not. Right, you took we his necklace. You, officer. Uh, yeah. I heard of Benzo, it was just a necklace. It wasn't his whole fortune. Remind me to tell detail to keep hot heads out. We've had teams down there. It's a huge network. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> Work a grid. I want him back. <laughs> yeah, the uh, masked man. We're on it. Lose the uniform. You're that was how Sean was doing now. me. <laughs> could use some hot heads around here. So that could also be a coincidence. You're a detective now, so you're not allowed to believe in coincidence anymore. The promotion, a from the hospital bed promotion. Nobody's answering. No, I'm on my own now. Do you have keys? Never needed them. There was always a butler. <laughs> Hope you didn't like me for my money. I'll take care of your parents' legacy, Bruce. Who's this? I feel like everyone in that city Where's should that? know who that is. <laughs> right. Dang, that wouldn't make me want to kiss him seeing a picture of another lady. Oh no, his power went out. My power has been shut off. You better take advantage of that rain outside before they shut the water off. We could leave tonight. Take my plane. Go anywhere we wanted. Someday, Grant. Not tonight. Yeah, <laughs> you should have asked before. <laughs> he might would have been down then, but he's chilling now. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to watch some TV. Oh, now we gotta go, you know, do his, do his Batman thing. Is she not gonna wake up and be like, where'd he go? Still don't trust me, huh? How can we change that? Start by taking me to Bane. You asked. Oh, no. your Bane's men patrol the tunnels. And they're not your average brawlers. Neither am I. He's behind you. <laughs> so she set, up, she set them up. Set them up. Batman, it looks like she told that guy he was behind her. Oh yeah, that's because she was just playing though, because he's about to beat him up. I think she's like a... See, you're smarter than me. <laughs> Don't trust them, boys. Never. <laughs> I had to find a way to stop them trying to kill me. You made a serious mistake. Not as serious as yours, I fear. Oh my god. Man, I have faith in her too. I guess she doesn't fear the bat as much as Bane. Oh, 
feel like neither one of them were trying to touch anything at all. No, they're just taking it to the face. Or ribs. Members of the League of Shadows. And you betrayed us. Yeah, that understands the beef right there. Or that explains it. I'm here to fulfill Raza Ghoul's destiny. That's what's right Shadows right. betray you because they belong to me. Man, he's got a lot of good little one-liners, don't he? He's been ready for this moment or something. I will show you where I have made my home. Then I will break you. <laughs> then I will destroy you. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Your precious armory, gratefully accepted. We will need it. They're That's why. Rob it. Oh, is that why they man. did they use need his fingerprints for that or to identify him? I think to identify him so they could figure out. Oh, yes. you know, where his stuff I was, was wondering what would break first. Good thing Alfred. Your spirit. <laughs> oh, your money. Oh. How dare you? Growing up, we called that the spine buster. He took his mask off. No. Dang, you think she feels guilty? Of course she should. You but like, where was that conscious before? No one's home. Give me Commissioner Gordon. I got a line on the congressman's kidnapping. Excuse me, miss. Yes? I'm gonna need to see your ticket and uh, identification, please. Oh. Do you mind? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Her character is good, honestly. Yeah. I sure she couldn't get away from that one. Made some mistakes. It's Kyle. Oh. He's gotta eat. <laughs> you have an appetite. We can offer you protection. No, you can't. When I spotted you, I was looking for a friend of mine, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, what happened to him? Go ahead. Did they kill him? I'm not sure. Where are they taking him? Oh, that kid. Yeah. yeah, but not of your body. Of your mind? Of your soul. Damn, I'm always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we will destroy Gossip and then. When it is done, and Gotham is ashes. I was gonna guess ashes, but I didn't say it. Damn it. Poor Gotham. <laughs> then you have my permission to die. <laughs> maybe that's why the Joker said he needed him too, because maybe you need Batman to destroy Gotham. Yeah, you gotta use him as a propaganda tool to get people to turn on each other. <gasps> Always. Belly. Extraordinary need. First time she broke out of women's correctional, she was 16. Little closer, baby. Why, honey? You wanna hold my hand? <laughs> She's gonna be fine. I still don't see the need of a board meeting for the energy project. Oh no. How good of you to join us, Chair President. Mr. Fox, would you like to nominate? No, I will volunteer. Where are you taking us? Well, we get on him. I wonder how they're gonna defeat him. I guess they might have to take his his breathing machine off. Right. I wonder why he has it. Because it's not just a mask, it's a respirator. Come on, Batman. He asks how much you would pay us to let you die. No, I told him. I told him you have nothing. Do it for the pleasure. They pay me more than that. Keep you alive. He would try to climb. At least they have a rope, though. I thought they had to freestyle. Yeah, I thought they did, too. He's going to break his back if he falls, though, and snap his spine in half. Is anyone ever made it? Of course not. He says there is one who did. How'd that little kid make it out then? A child. A child born in this hell. Bane. It was Bane. Nothing more. So. Whatever it is, they want you to see. Bane was a legend in Man, y'all don't need to be going down there. Yeah, like, ain't that the first thing you would do if you want to destroy a city? Get rid of all the law enforcement stuff? That guy's from Prison Break too. Did you see him? Him. That's the guy who talks to Kellerman. He's like, you'll kill Schofield now. Oh, you know? Kim. Yeah, him, yeah. <laughs> he was a lot younger there. Or was he? <laughs> you look the same to me. Turn it on. I won't do it. All right, stop, Lucius. You'll kill this man and yourself. And you'll barely slow them down. No. This is where we didn't want him to know about. Man, y'all better flood it. Honestly, Commissioner, I don't know anything about civil engineering. But you know about patents. Keep looking. Isn't an arc reactor what Tony Stark has? Yeah. It's done. So it's just it's always in. 
A four megaton nuclear bomb. Pull the core out of the reactor. No, you cannot. This is the only power source capable of sustaining. If you move it, That's the, the core will decay in a matter of months. Five, by my calculations. And it won't go off. That was terrible. That looks like motor oil right next to it. Jesus, they're not making cement, they're making explosives. Is how oh. all those cops are going down in that tunnel? Because yeah. yeah, they planted bombs on there. That's being a fool. They're heading into a trap. They went eight years without destruction, and now they're having a day, aren't they? Yeah, all because Bane wants to show up. Holy! The trap! Pull everyone out! Bane has been pouring concrete laced with explosives. Where? Oh, the concrete was laced with explosives. That's interesting. Are they gonna blow up that stadium? The cops underground. Pull them out. Pull them out now. This might be the switcheroo, though, where everyone thinks that the bomb's under the tunnel, but it's really under the stadium, kind of like they did in the Dark Knight with Harvey Dent. Oh, yeah. And Rachel. No, it can't be because he's there, yeah. right? That's a lovely, lovely voice. Look at that busted out team. <laughs> Rapid said he's like. There's Roethlisberger. Is that Ben Roethlisberger? Brother, hold on. Look, that's Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> and he's wearing number seven. So, yo, dude, Roethlisberger to Centennial Holmes in the back corner of the end zone to win the Super Bowl was still one of the craziest. So he's moments, just man. casually in this. That man, yeah, he, he said, I want to be in it. That's crazy. Out of every player on this field, you probably wouldn't think that this is the most iconic player. And they have Steelers colors on. Yeah, that's wild. I wonder who this guy is. If you guys know who this dude is, let me know, but I don't recognize this fella. Oh, there's Hans Ward, another Steeler. That's cool. Let the games begin. What? Oh, man. Oh, my. So it's just all around the city. So it was an, a lot of cement. Wow. <gasps> that was a mayor. The man still went for the tackle. Dang, he didn't even know. He thought it was like the cannons going on. He really tried to wrap him up after all that happened. <gasps> like the Baltimore Bridge falling, man. This man has. Can't done. get off the island now. All the bridges are blown up, taking that hostage. Wow. So they really are going to destroy Gotham. Gotham, take control of your city. Foley. Jesus, Blake. Every cop in the city's down in those tunnels. Not every cop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though, like, dude. Gotta be a one man show. Well, Gordon, too, maybe. Maybe he's counting him. That, oh man. They didn't just kill Gordon, did they? Clear the corners, rookie. Get my coach, son. Clear for corners, rookie. Whatever it is, it's nuclear. It's a fully primed neutron bomb with a blast radius of six miles. Wow. wow. And who is capable of disarming such a device? Only me. They're about to kill him, ain't they? Oh no. Thank you, good doctor. Now, this bomb is armed. For one of you holds the detonator. Uh, for those people attempting to flee, this anonymous Gothamite, this unsung hero, will trigger the bomb. Now, martial law is in effect. Oh, Return to your homes. Hold your families close. And wait. Tomorrow you claim what is rightfully yours. What a demon. You know, he's really up in the antics oh, the compared to the Joker. Start high level I don't know if I like his character as much, you know? But the president on the line. So that island has a blast radius of six miles. That will take out that whole island, basically. That's crazy. If one person crosses this bridge, Gotham gets blown to hell. Oh no. Yeah, so now they're going to be forced to make them stay in. The people of our greatest city are resilient. They have proven this before, and they will prove it again. So he's the president? People of Gotham, we have not abandoned you. What does that mean? It means we're off. <laughs> well, sir, they will kill you the second you show your face. Bane says he's giving Gotham back to the people. They need to know I could lead. Bane's not going to let that happen. You show his true colors, and you'll be dead. So be it, he said. Uh-oh, the Batman. Blackgate Prison, where a thousand men have languished. He's about to expose them right here. You have been supplied with a false idol. <gasps> Let me tell you the truth about Harvey Dent. From the words 
of Gotham's police commissioner, James Gordon. The Batman didn't murder Harvey Dent, he saved my boy. One day, you may face such a moment of crisis, and in that moment, I hope you have a friend like I did. Yes, yeah, so it's not judging. We take Gotham from the corrupt! The rich! The oppressors of justice! The mission who have kept Gotham. you down with myths of opportunity! Gotham is yours! None shall interfere. Do as you please. But start by storming Blackgate and freeing the oppressed! Man, the mobs get right back out. Wow, and they have weapons immediately. The oh, whole of those Taliban. who would serve for an army will be raised. The powerful will be ripped from their decadent nests, cast out into the cold world that we know and endure. That is martial law. Courts will be convened. Blood will be shed. Man, the police will survive fast. as they learn to serve true justice. Gotham neutron bomb will survive. Or not neutron bomb, fusion bomb. I don't know. He says we must first fix your back. How does he know? Oh, he was the prison doctor many years ago. It was a time of plague. Some of the other prisoners attacked Bane. The doctor's fumbling attempts to repair the damage left him in perpetual agony. The mask holds pain at bay. Oh, okay. Bane was the child you spoke of. He was born here. But what he could not know was the true price of his freedom. She took his place in the pit. Oh, wow. What? One day, the doctor forgot to lock the cell, but the child had a friend, a protector, who showed the others that this innocence was. The mother was not so lucky. This is Ben's prison now. He wouldn't want this story told. That hurts his back, huh? There's a vertebra protruding from your back. Ouch. It has to be put back. No. Stay like this until you stand. Dang. Uh, Did you not think I would return, Bruce? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's losing it, huh? Right. I told you I was immortal. I watched you die. Oh, yeah. there are many forms of immortality. Once I had a wife, it was taken from me. You were the mercenary. Bane is your Yeah, Bane's a son. It makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? Now you understand. Gotham is beyond saving. No. I must be allowed to die. Ah! Better start using them feet. Ten toes, ten toes. Yes. No! Man, I didn't expect to see the Batman going through so much rehab in this. I know. Blake, you be careful out there. They're hunting down cops like dogs. Right, like ditch the uniform. Oh, the could dang. Man's doing push-ups. I'm not gonna die. That means time yeah. has passed. Yeah. That's the difference. Hey, I wish I could just hit a couple push-ups and fix my back. Oh, he's climbing. <laughs> I feel like he's totally gonna make it because it's called Dark Knight Rises. Dang it, man. You told me a child did But no ordinary child. A child. Yeah, how did he do it? Born in hell. Forged from suffering. Hardened by pain. Oh, maybe because it's Ra's al Ghul's Not kid? A man from privilege. Batman said he don't give a damn whose kid it is. You ain't about to out jump him. <laughs> I'm in contact with my partner who's down there. They're just waiting for the day. Men who haven't seen daylight in three months. Oh, it's been three months. It was built as a fusion reactor. As the device's fuel cells deteriorate, I wouldn't know how to do all that. Increasingly <laughs> unstable. I could reconnect it to the reactor, stabilize it. Let's move away from this location and then call it in. Do you trust them people? No. Because I don't either. I don't even really know who they are. I know they're like special forces, but. Someone sold the out. I didn't see an ID. ID. Yeah. Well, maybe I should have trusted him. I'll die before I talk. How about this schedule, Captain? There were people living upstairs. Round them up for judgment and hang them where the world can see. This man. That's wild, dude. Well, he said, I'm going to do more sit ups. It's about freedom. It's not about strength. Fear. It's why you fell. No, I'm not afraid. I'm angry. Let's go. Attempt two. He don't even care if he breaks his back again. Does he get it this time or no? I think he's gonna take three tries. Man. Why do we fall? 
That was his Maybe dad. Maybe that was his dad, yeah. You do not fear death. Do you fear death? I'm like, well, then why are you still down here? Oh, I fear dying in here while my city burns. There's no one there to save it. Then make the climb <laughs> as the child is without the rope. Then fear will find you again. Oh, so the rope like holds him back from the jump. Let's go. Makes him a little too secure. Price for your journey. Oh, that's that's wonderful. That's. He's like, I got it this time. Is that me? Rise. The dark night rises. So that's what it means. Like he like rises out of this cave. That's what's up. Like he literally rose out of a prison. Yeah, y'all want him to leave now until he does, and you're gonna be bored. Whoa. Bats. Oh, a couple bats to yes. add. Let's go. Oh, he's rising. It's time. No, there ain't no dang way. You need to run and jump. I know, that's what I thought. Yes. That was some parkour if I've ever seen. He didn't think he'd actually do it. Man dropped the rope and dipped, didn't he? Oh, wow. He's putting him in that chair. Made that gold. There's been no mistake, Mr. Striver. You are Philip Driver, Executive Vice President. <gasps> Scarecrow. The crane. Dragon Industries of people less powerful than him. How vain. Bane has no authority here. This is merely a sentencing hearing. Now, the choice is yours. No authority Exile here. Exile or death. Exile or death. Exile. You follow the thick eyes. I said no one made it. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. <laughs> I'm not asking you to walk down grand in your dress moves, but something has to be done. I'm sorry, Jim, I gotta... Keep your head down. What is that gonna do tomorrow when that thing blows? You don't know that's gonna happen. So he's just banking that Bane's a nice guy and he don't mean it. <laughs> After he hung all those people? Yeah, I bet. You steal from us? You little bastard. Now, oh. you boys know you can't come into my neighborhood without asking politely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Never steal anything from someone you can't outrun, kid. Thanks, now you contaminated it. Generous for thief. That ain't good. I thought they killed you. Nah, don't oh, be yeah. trying with all that. I need your help. And why would I help you? For this, clean slate. You trust me with that. After what I did to you, why do you need Fox? To save the city. Who says it needs saving? Maybe I like it this way. Maybe you do, but tomorrow that bomb's going off. Get your powerful friend on the case? I'm trying, but I need Fox. Yeah, you need some equipment, what you need. I got it. Mercenaries in six. Stand still! Keep your head where we can see them! They're all over. You're under arrest. On whose authority? On Baines. Oh, wow. Now, what will it be? Death or exile? Crane, you think we're going out onto that ice willingly? Death by exile. Bring her to me. Isn't it crazy how you want to like hate on Bane and be like, this guy is so terrible, but there's so many people who like love him. Yeah. Like, Bane's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's actually kind of weird. Sorry to spoil things, boys, but Bane wants these guys to himself. <laughs> you about you, Miranda. I know. He commissioned. Like your girlfriend, Mr. Wayne. He should be so lucky. <laughs> One more time, let's go. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. At least it's at night and it's colder. <gasps> oh yeah, so it was safer than I didn't think about that. Yeah, but it ain't that much safer though. <laughs> Dang. Oh man. Lock it up. Oh no. Who are you? Dang, you pushed my man around easy, didn't he? I know, I thought he would like <laughs> my <man's> resist <laughs> a little bit. I thought that was a dynamite stick. Or a flare one. Oh. It's the dark night. Take a look. I was about to, oh, that's tough. Let's go. He's back. Let's go. Hopefully the backbone Impossible. comes back to the city. Impossible. Where's Miranda Tate? Bane took her. This blocks the remote detonator signal to the bomb. Get it onto it before sunrise. They might hit the button when it starts. When what starts? Or. Dang. <laughs> Besties. Well, he's been waiting on this moment his whole life. He's like, that's so cool. Count to five, then throw. Good thing he was quick. I would have been like, do what? 
And no offense, but you got something bigger in that belt! But you need to get people across the bridge. We don't need me here? You've given me an army. Man, he just now gave go. you instruction, bro. Hey, thanks. Don't thank me yet. Why might not get a chance later? You don't think he's gonna die, right? I really don't know. Come with me. Save yourself. You don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. He's the hope. Well, hell no, I don't want this. It's snowing out here. <laughs> <laughs> you got something with four wheels, bro? No, it has the good tires. Perfect for the no snow tread. Four inch chopper tires. There's only one police in this town. It ain't big enough for the two of us. Open fire. Dang. Oh, you intercepted him? Ha uh ha, -huh, yes. They did it. Well, she did it, right? This looks like that Battle of the Bastards episode, don't it? Oh, Gordon did it. This is so chaotic. I know. You don't approach me. A road without Batman when he was in prison the whole time sucks. Oh, there he is. Oh, you just got that man by the hair. You see that? Yeah, he's been doing exercises. Oh, so there's like multiple ones. Right. I would be so distracted trying to watch this fight instead of dealing with my own. I don't know where somebody's gonna punch me in the back of the head. Yeah, keep keep punching him in his respirator thing. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the key to beating him. His headshot. What man should do is wrap some saran wrap around it. That way you can't get to it. He's trying to finish the fight right now. He's trying to knock him out. Yes, don't stop. You never give it to an ordinary citizen. Where is it? Where's the trigger? Maybe if his mask comes off, it'll be detonated. Where is okay. it? Tell me where the trigger is. Then you have my permission to die. This is trash. <laughs> the only one who could learn the strength to escape but he's not the child of razal Ghul. whoa <gasps> you are oh, oh bro wow. i did not see that coming you can't trust him man she has she the has the trigger oh mm. brother oh man so that's razal Ghul's kid and it was a girl y'all done tricked us that's why they kept saying the child they didn't say the boy i would have been killed if not for my protector bane oh that's him right there Bane's like, I got it from here. I climbed out of the pit. I found my father. But my father could not accept Bane. I could not forgive my father until you murdered him. Wow. What a twist. <laughs> what a twist, though. I was not expecting her. I honor my father by finishing his work. <sighs> to destroy him, man. What did Gotham do to y'all? It's the slow knife. I can't stand when a... Uh... Bad guy's main motivation is hypocrisy. That waits years. Like these people aren't innocent in Gotham. Then slips quietly between the bones. That's the knife that cuts deepest. <laughs> Was it supposed to be instant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The truck is under attack. Let's Gordon, go. You gave him a way to block my signal. Uh. He spot Gotham 11 minutes. If you take two steps forward, we will blow the bridge. Wow, you a coward. Go bro. back by the bus and wait for me, all right? Just go back and wait. Don't kill him. I want him to feel the heat, feel the fire of 12 million souls. You failed. Well, you wow. being a freak is what's going to get you beat. You might as well kill him right now. Goodbye, my friend. So he's just going to die. I guess he's a damn suicide bomber or something. Break him at the stairs! Shoot them all. Oh, and, oh, man. We both know that I have to kill you now. Come on. You all just have to imagine the fire. Yes, she didn't just leave. About the whole no guns thing. I'm not sure I feel as strongly about it as you do. I think I might have said it already, but maybe she's Robin. Like, you know how you were asking before? Where's Batman's Robin? She's Catwoman. Well, I know, but maybe in this universe, it's Batman and Catwoman. Oh, yeah. I don't know much about Catwoman. I don't know. Except for she's a good thief. Please do not shoot me. Shoot at his feet. That thing's about to ricochet. Blow it! <gasps> do it! Dang, I just really thought they weren't going to. I really did. All right, boys, get in the circle. 
Man, so that's it for them, they think. I feel like if you would just make that thing go a little higher, it wouldn't be able to shoot them. <laughs> Am I wrong? A little bit. That thing is so cool. Nice. That was nuts. What, a tornado spin? Yeah. That truck is well built, I'll say that. Right, they can't knock that thing off track at all, can they? They're blasting cars all out the way, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> He's okay. Dang, he was in the back of that thing crashing. Oh my God. I'll be stressed out every turn. Fox showed me how to operate the reactor. You're gonna trust her? Including the emergency flood. Better run. No. Please make it out. Please make it out. Come on, Lucius. There's no way. This bomb. Yeah, they can't reconnect it. Will be stopped. My father's work is done. Man, they should have slapped her ass, letting her talk. I'd shove a sock in her mouth. What are you doing? I can get it out over the bay. Set it to fly out over the water, but eject? No autopilot. No <laughs> autopilot. Oh man, Batman's gonna go kaboom, y'all. Why do they always wait until the dude's about to die? Why shouldn't the people know the hero who saved them? The hero can be anyone. Even a man doing something as simple and reassuring as putting a coat around a young boy's shoulders to let him know the world hadn't ended. Okay, then. Just flash him a little bit. Just show him some of that cheek moan. Oh, he remembers because of that. Oh, man. Uh, is he about to sacrifice himself? by toting this thing away. It looks like he's about to take it over the ocean and, go, and blow it up. Because remember, they don't have autopilot. Ooh, that scares me. He's right. a dragon. Dang, they got a nice, nice little coastline over there. Please stop with this music. It's never good. It's out over the bay. It's clear of the ship. <laughs> right. You running or what? <laughs> Everyone's sharing, but he's so sad. Man, guys, that's tough. Maybe he jumped out the, the ship for a blew up, but. I see that I hold a sanctuary in their hearts and in the hearts of their descendants. He said the hell with these, with these cops. You do no damn good it here. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. Oh, no. His worst fear, man. Oh, my gosh. Why? Was oh, that his parents? I failed you. You trusted me. I failed you. No one's ever going to know who saved an entire city. They know. It was the Batman. Wow. Is that the Batman right there? Oh, let's go. So they honor him now instead of, like, think he killed Harvey. And the remainder is left in its entirety to Alfred J. Pennyworth. At least he got the house. The housing and care of the city's at-risk and orphan children. Oh, That's gonna make me tear up. I'm not gonna do it, but almost. I'm feeling uh, like I might. I might. You should use your full name. I like that name. Robin. <gasps> Robin? <laughs> There's Robin right there. He kind of looks like a little Robin. So he's been in this the whole time? Is he about to see Bruce? <gasps> if he does, I will. Because that was his little fantasy that he had. He said with his wife. At a cafe or whatever. <laughs> Doesn't Robin like any like a circus dude or something? You know, I feel like in the cartoons back in the day he was like a circus guy. He's just a goofy one. Yeah, that's all you now, big dog. He's about to go train up in there. Fix it. <laughs> Simple text would have worked, but okay. <gasps> oh no! With Catwoman, that was so wholesome. Wow. Hold on, let me take my headphone out. Good God, that was good. Okay, well, if I did have to say one thing about Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, it was how much dang symbolism there was just in the Batman itself. Just like every time Batman would come, he the darkness would come. 
uh, he was in the League of Shadows or what was it called? The League of Shadows. League of Shadows. He was he was in that. He like was around the goal. He rose from that. Like, dude, Batman is just like incredibly symbolic in so many ways. He's a symbol of hope. He's a symbol of conquering your fears. He's a symbol of like. Well, like Captain America is a symbol, right? And Captain America was a symbol, but he was also Captain America, Steve Rogers. And Bruce Wayne is also Batman, but he just wouldn't let it be known, man. Uh, Batman is so much more than just whoever is occupying the mask at the time. Doing the right thing if, if someone's robbing a store and you're just a citizen. In that moment, I, I think the message is you can be Batman in that moment. So I love that. I thought these movies yeah. were genuinely 10 out of 10s, man. I don't know which one I like the most. Maybe the Dark Knight, probably the Dark Knight because it just felt like the most iconic one. But I don't know if I like Batman Begins better. I don't know if I like this one I better. Think, I think I would have to put it as like all three together because you had to have the beginning story and you had to have that ending for everything to kind of come full circle. I was really glad to see it come as full circle yeah, as it did because they could have really abandoned did. that whole storyline in the beginning and just sort of left it there, mm -hmm. you know, but they didn't choose to do that. And I'm really glad they did it. What did you think about Bane? I thought he was kind of the mastermind behind everything at first. So I, I really was like applauding how like just incredibly smart he but was. Then you realize he kind of wasn't. Right. Yeah. Found out he was just like the protector. Like he was just yeah. kind of like the, the, the brute muscle. force. Yeah. Yeah. Which kind of for me, I, if I had to pick the, this craziest villain in all three of them, it definitely would be the Joker. Like just because he was like so sadistically, he was just goofily weird. And it was like so terrifying. Bane would probably be my second though. And then Scarecrow. Bane was just very, Bane had the same type of delivery as the Joker in a sense. Like they both talked to her in a circle a lot mm -hmm. and they both, they were both kind of annoying in that way. Right. But I thought his character was really awesome. He mm -hmm. was scary. He was intimidating, uh, physically man, a physical force in a way that the Joker just wasn't. So mm -hmm. that added like a whole nother element, especially when it came to like the fist fighting with Batman, because the Batman against the Joker was never a fight, right? right. It was all psychological. And this was highly psychological, too, but I really like the fact that Batman was actually able to physically fight I like put hands so, on him for once, yeah. Right, yeah, that was nice. And I just thought it was really cool seeing the fact that he was a recluse for forever. I don't, I don't remember exactly how long, but what, seven eight, years? Eight years? Seven, eight years? I just thought it was really awesome how he, he basically fell out of shape, uh, mainly because of just body soreness and fatigue, which is also something, and just grinding down, like, literally all the cartilages and disease and stuff, which is really refreshing because... We see all these other superheroes and they can jump out of things and land in superhero poses. And I'm just thinking like, man, that would hurt my knees. And, and they're stuff. almost like invincible, so to say. And then right. we actually have. And and like you said, like, it's just sticking with me so hard that like he doesn't want to put a name behind like the Batman because he wants yeah, the Batman. I love that so much. Like that is just if I had to pick the most beautiful part, it's that trilogy just saying that message. I, yeah, that's so important. I just thought it was sick how he. Basically had to refine that fear. He had to rediscover yes. what his fear was. Because, you know, Batman was someone who was motivated by the death of his parents. But mm -hmm. he was also highly motivated by fear. Right. So fear is what essentially would make him act. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until he really was able to rethink his purpose. And it wasn't that he was driven by, like, the physical compulsion to, like, tremble with fear. It was just more of, like... A moral fear in yeah. that sense. So that really scared a man. He eventually escaped. I thought that prison was really awesome. I thought the concept was really was really sick to me. I'll mm -hmm. definitely remember the idea. It was of that interesting. Prison. Yeah. And it was yeah. cool. It was cool to not only just like symbolically represent dark, the dark Knight rising, but physically also right. Representing the dark Knight rising. It was really cool. Right. And it was, I mean, there was just so many, like there's just like, just good job with symbolism. Like there's so much of rising and all different accounts. And it was cool to me also that Batman had so many like undercover, like partners kind of like, he had Robin, he had Catwoman, he had Alfred, he had Lucius, like Gordon. Gordon's yeah, he grew supporting. in this one, yeah. Yeah, it was, just, it was just cool to see just how many people were working with them. And I guess it also kind of shows that Gotham's not as bad as they think. There's people actually that are good out there who are trying to do the best that they can. Well, I mean, if you're just going to walk around all day and if your whole entire philosophy and your entire meaning for being is to basically look and point out the hypocrisy and everything of course you're gonna find it that's the comment that i made in the show like i don't like when a bad guy or whatever the case may be they want to sit there and their main motivation for what they're doing is because they want to point out the hypocrisy of something because everyone's hypocritical at the end of the day and i thought bane was just as hypocritical yeah I mean, because he was when you're the doing, worst person in the city right so. when you're doing brutally bad things like that and then you're preaching about everyone else doing bad things you're equally doing bad things right <laughs> 
So yeah. you just get behind a worse evil. You know what I'm saying? It's just you have to pick an evil to get behind. Right. Yeah, there was definitely just a lot of uh, we're angry. We don't like the rich. We don't like corruption. We don't like this. Basically, we don't we don't like the high standards of living that people have. So they definitely had a motivation to sort of bring the people of Gotham back down to earth. And But I, I now that we're talking about it, it kind of seems like they use that more so to rally the people to like cut off all the the connections to the city because the real reason was just to destroy Gotham. It wasn't really like no one really cared about that. Well, I think overall, I think their point was Gotham is the head of the snake. So Gotham is basically the prop for a bunch of like evil and corruption that Mm -hmm. happens in the country at large. And so I think his whole point was we really need to use Gotham as an example of what we're not going to continue to do and get away with. But at the same time, I mean, I just thought I because the girl was introduced, I thought that that meant like he was just doing that because he's just the protector of her. It really had nothing to do with that. It had to do more with she's going to well, seem like Gotham. he had principles, though. Well, like their dad had principles. You know, like the 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 whole entire organization in itself had principles. So, I mean, I get what you're saying, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I do 100 percent. I think that Bane was someone it's like I said, it's hard for me to figure out what those motivations are because I don't really have any of those thoughts like that. Yeah. I don't really want to like burn the city down or anything. I'm just trying to like focus on myself, you know, it was, I really thought that football field scene was incredible. Like it was incredibly shot. It was like like literally that man scoring a touchdown and they're it's crashing behind. Like, what are the chances <laughs> that they get that on film and you return the, the freaking kick 98 yards or 99 <laughs> yards from the end zone? You return it. And then you look to celebrate with your team and no one's here. That man still went. uh, You're sitting there like, I did not. I brought the house down today, boys. And then he still went for the tackle. (laughs) He tried to horse car tackle him from behind. Oh, my God. Crazy movie. So I just feel like at the end of the day, man, is just uh, every so often in Gotham, people are just going to pop up and they're just going to point out the fact that it's almost like the evil people of the city want to get mad and point out the fact that there's evilness in the city. And so they want to try to justify their evilness by pointing at like, Oh, well, we might be murdering people and we might be, you know, street level criminals who are committing violent acts, but you guys are scamming the system. Right. I don't think those are the same things, you know, I don't, (laughs) you know, but anyways, that's just me. Super awesome movie, man. I don't want to get too much into it. Yeah. I I just, I just think that that was like one of the best, like superhero adaptations I've seen. And it definitely makes me want to continue with DC definitely further. I don't know where you go from this point. I don't know if that's like even can it canon in the dceu <laughs> but or, Girl, you gotta stop using that word i know canon. sorry a canon to me guys is like an old revolutionary that you light at the end and it takes forever <laughs> like god dang they didn't have and a they shorter go, fuse go, for that thing those were those are canons right really love the movie man uh really appreciate it i like the way they ended it i love the fact that bruce wayne finally got to have the happy ending that he really deserved. Oh my like, gosh, he yeah. The, that. No, when Alfred got to see him and you like actually saw him, just give him the nod. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My heart. That was great. And it's all, and it makes me happy because they're in similar proximity. So in my mind, they still continue to have a beautiful relationship. Maybe he's his butler. Right, <laughs> maybe he's yeah. just there chilling. Yeah, maybe so. And you're just like, I just wanted that experience. Oh, yeah, love so it. So good. So good, man. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for picking this Patreon. Thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. I can't wait for y'all to pick the next one because fully I trust you guys. I saw a Superman movie. Uh, someone said that we got to do some Superman movies. And you know what? I didn't even know they really made Superman movies. So I'm down. Like, I'm, I'm down to go. Are I know what new? Smallville is. Have you ever seen Smallville? Somebody save me. Go on and break right through. Just save me. Save me. What are you talking oh, about? All my Smallville fans, guys, I'll be honest with y'all, man. The only way, the only thing I know about Smallville is like the last two minutes because I always waited for it to go off so I could watch Supernatural. Because in my mind, the women watch Smallville and the men watch Supernatural. But I could be totally wrong okay. about that. That's just how it was when I was a kid. That's what I thought. I was like, I was like, Amber, are you done watching Smallville so I can watch Supernatural? She's like, sure, I'm done. Here you go. All right, guys. Peace.